Hello guys, welcome back to Dek News. Tamil Nadu Army officer killed in argument with DMK counselor. A 28-year-old army man was allegedly beaten to death in Tamil Nadu's Krishnagiri area after a minor argument. The event occurred on February 8 and Prabhu, the army officer, had been fighting for his life at a hospital for six days before succumbing to his injuries. The incident drew the attention of DMK counselor Chinasame who was involved in the argument. According to sources, a verbal spat erupted after Prabhu's sister washed her clothes in the water tank near the panchayat office. What began as a disagreement between the two parties escalated into violent violence between the two groups. The ward councilman got into a confrontation with Prabhu's army officer brother Prabhakaran. When Prabhu tried to break them up, the councilman and his men began beating him instead, seriously injuring him. Prabhu was assaulted with iron rods and clubs before being brought to a private hospital in a Hossar district for treatment. Priya, Prabhu's sister-in-law, sobbed as she recalled the horrific incident. It was a little problem. Yet the ward counselor and his crew attacked and abused our family members. His surface damage was simply one scrape, but he had a lot of internal ailments, she stated of Prabhu's injuries. He fainted and collapsed and was assumed he died. They continued to beat him. They were out for vengeance on our family. Priya stated that the ward counselor and his son, a police officer, abused their authority by brutally beating Prabhu to death. The ward counselor used abusive language while hitting Prabhu and he beat my brother-in-law to death solely because he is a ward counselor and his son is a police officer. She went on to say that Prabhu's family is seeking justice for him. Based on Prabhu's complaint, a case was filed against nine guys under section 307 of the IPC. Following his death, the charges were changed to section 302 of the Indian Penal Code. Six of the nine suspects in this case has been apprehended by police while the ward counselor and his son remain at large. That's all for today. Keep watching our channel and don't forget to subscribe Dek News.